guys, it's me, Nikki. Happy Pride Month, everybody. In today's video, there's a, gonna be a lot happening because today I wanna talk about what it's like growing up transgender and being in high school. I asked you guys if you have any questions and I am here to answer them for you as well as talk about some personal experiences of my life to celebrate and make people more aware during Pride. We'll be playing with brand new products by Uoma by Sharon C. These are products that feel high end, but you don't have to go to the bank, hun. They're also the partner of this video. And in today's video, Yes, 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 you saw by the title, I am giving away $60,000 of my own money to a charity for Pride and to one lucky glow baby out there. So that might be you. <laughs> so let's just dip right in. First things first, it is Pride Month. And if you think to yourself, why do we even need a Pride Month? Just look at the world. Stuff that's going on in Hungary, Europe right now is exactly why Pride is still so necessary and why it's vital to celebrate it every single day. And to celebrate Pride and to give back to the community, today I am donating $50,000 to an organization called For The Girls. For The Girls is a black trans-led collective that curates parties to fundraise money to help black transgender people pay for their rent, gender-affirming surgeries, smaller co-pays for medicine slash doctor's visits, and travel assistance. The first For The Girls party occurred on the 4th of July on a hot roof in Brooklyn New York. Just days prior, founder of For The Girls, Asani, decided to throw a party to fundraise for two friends that were facing eviction. They tabbed Mod to create a flyer and help build a playlist, asked a friend if they could use their roof, and the rest is history. They've been hosting monthly parties ever since, with the end goal of raising money to help black trans people pay for their rent and gender-affirming surgeries. Now, of course, due to COVID, they couldn't host any parties. But you know what we can do? Donate. I'll leave a link down below in the description box so you can donate and really help them out. I am so honored that I could donate $50,000 to you for the girls because especially in the trans community, black people have it the hardest. This is a painful truth that needs more light shed on it. And I hope by me helping out, I hope other people help out as well. So donate, donate, donate. Now for today's video, I am gonna do a crazy pride look. It's inspired by Microsoft. I love her, May. She did an Instagram takeover once on my Instagram. Her creativity is out of the roof. So I wanna take my spin on her little heart look. And while I do my makeup, it won't really be a tutorial. I need to speak about some, some youth some youth history that I've gone through that I always feel like a lot of people uh, find a bit helpful. So, without any further ado, let's go. All right, I am so excited for this video, not only because I get to talk about pride, raise more awareness, but also to change someone's life at the end of this video by giving away $10,000. So make sure you stay tuned towards the end of this video for that special giveaway. Off camera, I quickly went ahead and blocked out my brows. That's why they're looking all funky like that. And the first Uoma by Sharon product I'm going in with is this right here, the Supernatural Glow Super C10 Serum. This serum right here has 10% vitamin C. It has vitamin B3, E, and PP. And what I love about this is if you have more sensitive skin and my skin can get a little bit sensitive now and then. This is a 10% version of the vitamin C and they also have a version when it's double packed honey with 20%. Now this is packed with all the good stuff so you only need two to three drops and this will just reveal very youthful looking skin. It is deeply nourishing. It will even out your skin tone and it will give you that beautiful youthful glow that we all want. And then I just start working this in and this is a beautiful first step for this pride look and it's so good. Lift up, give yourself a nice little massage. This look all focuses on the beautiful heart, but I don't really draw hearts on my face every day, so I'm just gonna take a nude and white pencil to kind of sketch out the shape. Okay, so it starts in the center of the forehead, like, like right there-ish. The heart comes together on the cupid's bow, like the highest point, so like here and here. Hmm. <laughs> And I'm doing this with the pencil so I can just, oh. Well, it's not bad at all. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. From here, we're gonna be filling this in with foundation. The heart is gonna become white and then we're gonna have fun with a lot of like bright colors. 
This is like harder than math. And speaking of high school, I hated math. I think the number one question I always receive is, what was it like being trans in school? I was, I was a strange kid. Um, I loved people. I loved making friends. I loved getting to know new people and finding out about their lives and just finding that connection. So even as a little kid, I would always be the joker. Like jokes were on me. It was my way of defending myself because I was super insecure, of course, about my body, about my life. And the way out for me to find a connection with people but just was by just making jokes. As long as I could make people laugh, uh, they couldn't bully me and they couldn't hit on me, so that was a good thing. And a lot of people ask me, were you the only trans kid in your school? I went to a Catholic school and uh, yes, I was the only trans kid there. Well, how did people treat you? How did the teachers treat you? I went to that school before I started transitioning and people knew me before I became Nikki, like the true Nikki. Weirdly enough, because I evolved into that and because people saw it happening day by day, um, most people were accepting, even on a Catholic school. People. Um, supported it, not everyone, but most people supported it. Other kids, more like older kids or even younger kids, they were confused, as I was. <laughs> parents were, uh, they had a feisty opinion. It's always so funny to me how like the parents have so much to say about not their kid. Like they have so many opinions about not their kid. It's not your place, sweetheart, it's not your place. But yeah, my elementary school was very accepting and we kind of grew into it together. You know, and most teachers were very helpful and supportive as well. Um, I remember having one teacher, her name was Juliette, uh, Yufra Juliette, who just took me in. She fully embraced my journey and wanted to be there for me along the way. And I know she was my teacher for like, three, four years, and she she was just such a vital person into me becoming who I am today because she, um, if she saw that people were bullying me, she would step in, she would always have my back, and she really uh, fought for me as a kid. I know it's very hard for a lot of grown-ups to find a way to be there for trans youth, but she was there. There were other teachers who uh, were cool with me and all. Until, you know, like that many years later, I come out of the closet and now one of these fools is dropping my dead name left and right. It's like, sweetheart, I know you're a little bit older, but dropping dead names left and right is not what you're supposed to do. And that brings me to dead names. I feel like a lot of people, whenever I mention my youth or like uh, being in school, a lot of people are like, well, what was your name before Nikki? Which is a dead name. A dead name is a name that you leave behind in your past because that was never, never your identity. I know to most people, it's just a name, but you have to imagine that when you're trans, you hate everything about that identity. I hated my body. I hated being associated as male and that name held so much pain, just so much pain, that it would almost become, saying that name would almost become a swear word. That name holds so much darkness for me that you don't ever wanna get associated with that again. That's not you, that is, that was before you became free. And when people are throwing it left and right, they don't know how much darkness it is bringing back to someone's life. And I know for a fact that with this teacher, he just said it because he wanted to get some attention and uh, get called cool by a lot of people. But like what he's not knowing, what he's not aware of, you're doing the average. You are a prick and show some respect. And also during high school, I had some great teachers. That is so helpful when growing up as trans, because I know for a lot of people out there, it's not the same where even your parents will deny you, teachers will deny you, um, other important people in your life will deny your existence. And that is just, I got so lucky. I really did get so lucky. A lot of people ask me, well, what if I'm a student 
and one of my co-students comes out as trans. React however you want to react, but always show respect. Always show warmth, support, and, and respect. I keep coming back to it, but respect. It already is so hard for us in school. We have to find out about who we truly are. It gets dark in our heads, trust me. And we don't need any other people to make it even harder on us. And with that, I do want to add that if you ever are curious to someone's dead name, don't even bother because it truly doesn't matter. That name has nothing to do with the person that you follow or you want to know more about. That person has nothing to do with that name. Dead names are there to stay dead. Keep them in the grave, honey. Okay, so the heart shape is done and now it is time to make our own skin extra, extra flawless. I am going in with the Uelma by Sharon C. And did I mention that this is available at Walmart? I'm going in with the Flawless IRL Foundation, flawless in real life. And this is a foundation, serum, moisturizer, and beauty balm all in one. I'm gonna just start bouncing that onto my exposed skin. It it is available in six custom formulations, each supercharged with skincare ingredients for you. Get a little bit close to the edge of the heart. If you don't get it perfectly neat against that line, don't worry because we're gonna be putting on a whole lot of eyeshadows on top and this will give some extra depth and shadow. See how it's kind of giving the heart a shadow already? I mean, we're killing two steps in one. First, I'm gonna start off with a hot pink right here at this portion of the heart. This is a true case of trust the process because I know it looks like a mess right now. <sighs> Speaking of a mess, let's talk about my coming out at school. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> when I was in elementary school, like I mentioned, a lot of people just watched me become Nikki. So there wasn't necessarily like a big coming out moment. What we did do eventually was with my favorite teacher, uh, Juliette, we had a day where we would bring out treats because that was the magical day where we said bye-bye to my debt name. From that day on, everyone started calling me Nikki and going by the pronouns she and her. Now, high school is a way different cookie. So when I went to high school, uh, nobody knew that I was trans because I moved cities as well. My mom found dad 2.0, they got married and we moved to the south of the country. I did get bullied in elementary school, not necessarily by the kids on elementary school, but friends from outside or grown-ups, teen boys from outside who would stand outside the perimeters of school and shout very nasty transphobic things to me. And of course there were always kids who didn't like who I was and would always, you know, if they wanted to hurt me, they could always rely on a good all transphobic comment. So Mama Tutorials found Dad 2.0 and we moved and it felt like a clean slate. Like we moved cities, a new different school. I went to this new school and people just knew me as Nikki. So we told the head of the school, once we applied for the school, what was going on, he knew, the teachers knew. Coming out in high school is a very, very difficult thing because you've got all these teens with hormones and judgmental opinions and like, it's hard, okay, it's hard. It's hard enough already to fit in. It's even harder if you wanna stand out, let alone be trans and just <laughs> put yourself out there for all that for all of that. People knew me as Nikki and I wanted them to remember me as Nikki. I prepared a presentation about um, transgender individuals. I spoke about how strong they were and, and I really try to find examples that were our age. So we had someone to sort of like um, um, identify with. I just collected as much like informative um, stuff that I could find to make people feel what it would be like. And then after that presentation, um, I would close off saying, what you just watched is uh, something I really identify with myself because I am transgender. And it's always so difficult because you see them, you see that the way they look at you, it changes. Um, and if you're trans yourself and you've had to do this, you know exactly what I'm you see something in their eyes shifts. And that is really hard because you feel, um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting so emotional out of nowhere. You feel that their opinion about you is shifting. It's so unfair that we as trans people have to go through that every single time we go to a new location or even relationships. Um, 
but it is something we have to do. My class was super chill, super cool about it. I saw that shift in the eyes, but like they're super cool about it. Of course, it only takes 10 minutes for the class to become the building and the building to become the town and the town to become the city. And soon, like pretty much everyone knew. But if you're trans out there and you're in a similar situation, I know that it is so hard. Try to find footage from people that are your age. Make the people, make your classmates sort of step into their skin for just a little bit so they know what it can feel like. They will never truly know what it feels like, but give them a taste and just be open and honest and come from a place of love uh, know that you're not there to harm anyone. You're just there to protect yourself. Now, will there be bullies? Yeah, there will be. Did I have bullies? Absolutely. But it's up to us to keep holding on and to keep going. I know there are going to be days where you feel like there is no light at the end of the tunnel, but there is. That tunnel may be super long, but there is light. It took a long time for me to find that light. Look at me now. <laughs> I know this looks like trash. Trust me, we'll make this artsy fartsy. Let me just go in with a baby pink and start defining my features and then we'll see what we'll do with the rainbow and trust the process. Now, the number one question I have received and uh, to no surprise because I thought, that, because I knew that a lot of people would wanna you know, know about this, but um, people were like, what bathrooms did you use? In both schools, I was allowed to use the female bathroom because trust me, the boys in math school weren't waiting for me to join them. <laughs> Can you imagine? They were like, hey, we're cool and all, and we totally accept you, but like, don't, don't, you're a woman. Like, don't come in our restroom. Like, it's not your place. And now this pink is also going down on the nose to contour, darling. Also, a lot of people wanted to know what changing rooms I used during PE. I have my own. <laughs> um, I guess some parents just didn't want me near other kids. Could you imagine if I rubbed off my transgenderism onto another child and they would become transgender because that is truly how it works. Um, so I guess some parents had an opinion I truly feel like Bob Ross right now, just going in with colors, splashing it on, then seeing what it does, then going back in. I would love for the comment section down below to become a nice love hub of information and just advice. Like my community reacted the way my community did. My school reacted the way they did, but it's not that way all across the globe, sadly. So if you've ever experienced something like this or you're going through the same thing, let the comments down below educate people because I feel like we're all on this educational journey together. If you have questions, ask them down below and maybe someone can answer. And I want the comment section to help lift each other up. All right, time to go in with white and bring back these highlights, honey. All right, let me pop some crazy lashes on and then we're gonna fine tune this entire piece. All right, all right, all right. I got a little carried away because I was just playing the music and then the brushes started doing its work. But before I went crazy with the colors and the lashes, I applied the Uoma by Sharon C. Mascara. This is called the Level Up Batter Boom O Naturel volumizing mascara. This mascara gives you clean, explosive volumizing impact in the blink of an eye. And with the tightly packed bristles of the spiral design brush, it picks up maximum product to reach root to tip. All right, we're in the last stretch to finish this look and to give the cheeks some love, I need some blush. And I'm going in with these. These are the Awoma Beauty by Sharon C. It's complicated lip tint and oil gloss. This provides a beautiful, beautiful stain. One swipe provides a sheer amount of color, but go in again and you can really build that color up. It can be used on cheeks, eyes, and lips. And so I'm taking that purpley pink color because as soon as you sort of water this down as a stain, it becomes a cute pink. And I want that as a beautiful hint of blush on the cheeks. And this one is in the color pink. So I'm gonna rub a little bit on the back of my hand and then take my brush, really shear that out and see how it leaves that pinky stain. That's what you want, baby. And that is going right here, stamp it on high up on the cheekbone, close to our heart. You see it's giving you a cute 
wash of color. And this way it almost acts as a shadow depth for the heart. Okay, now let's create some cartoonish lips. Now I'm gonna go in with another It's Complicated lip tint, and this one is in the color Classy, and I want that as like a gradient on the inner portion of the lip. And of course, some white highlights to make it come to life. And this is my Pride 2021 look. These Pride videos are a way for me to get personal, talk to you guys about my youth growing up as trans, and also while doing a fun, creative rainbow makeup look. But above all, I just wanna thank you for listening to my words today. And who knows, it might help someone out out there who desperately needs to hear what I have to say. So in the true fashion of a YouTuber, I worked about six hours on this look and now it's time for me to take it off. <laughs> Two last products I don't wanna keep from you is this oil cleanser. And I love that I'm about to do this because you guys always ask me how I take off these like crazy intense looks. Well, now you are about to see. So this right here is the Aoma Beauty by Sharon C. Go Off Eau Naturel Cleansing Oil. And all you have to do to use this is pump this onto the hand and start massaging all the makeup in. Really get into all the little corners and get that look off. And once you've really worked it in, you can rinse off using lukewarm water and it will even get the most waterproof makeup. Okay, and these, you don't wanna miss out on these. These are the so fresh and so clean. <laughs> Go off two in one water activated cleansing wipes. These dry wipes are infused with a gentle makeup cleanser that get activated as soon as you wet these. You have to wet it, but don't squeeze it out too much because if you squeeze it, all the remover will be squeezed out. So you gently want to wet this and this will truly take that makeup removal part even further. These two together are a match made in heaven. It's weird because we're about to go into a crazy, crazy giveaway that will change someone's life but I'm about to do a bare faced. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Goodbye. Ooh, give me the good stuff, give me the good stuff. Okay, here goes nothing. We worked so hard, but now it's time to go. Really start to massage everything and people get in those lashes. We're saying goodbye to this paint. Now you can add a little bit of water. Really activate the oil. Okay, now we're gonna gently wet this to activate the cleansers. And now we can take it all off, honey. All right, I'm about to pop on some moisturizer and I'll be right back for the crazy giveaway. All right, I slipped into something a little bit more comfortable. My face is glowing and beautiful. And just like in the beginning of the video, I did go in with a little bit of the Supernatural Glow Super C10 Serum by Uoma Beauty by Sharon. I am so thankful that they wanted to partner with me for today's video, but now it is time for the special giveaway that you guys have been waiting for. I think it's really important to give back to the community. That's why I, at the beginning of this video, donated $50,000 to For The Girls, and now it is time for you. For this Pride Month, I wanna give away $10,000 from my own money to a glow baby out there. And I want these $10,000 to help you change your life in a way. If you're part of the rainbow family, as I would like to say, and you need money for a surgery or you need help paying rent, this is my way of trying to help you out. So what you have to do to enter this giveaway is of course be subscribed to my channel. You have to be a loyal glow baby to enter. You have to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you would do with the money. Now it's gonna be very, very difficult for me to choose just one glow baby, but who knows what I can do in the future, but especially for this month for Pride, I wanted to really help someone out there. So in the comments, tell me what you would do with the $10,000 as well as your Instagram handle so I know where to contact you. And the winner will be announced in 10 days on my Instagram stories. So make sure you stay tuned and in 10 days, we will have a winner. I wanna thank you so, so, so much for watching today's very special video. Videos like these are very special and near and dear to my heart. So the fact that you sat down and listened to what I had to say truly means the world. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one.